Hello, my name is Paymon and in this video I'll be talking about bullying, how to prevent your kids to be a bully or be bullied in a school society and the community. First of all, we need to know what bullying is and what is the uh, proper definition of bullying. A person is bullied when he or she is exposed repeatedly and over time to a negative action on the part of one or more other people and he or she has difficulty defending himself or herself. I don't know if you noticed that or no, but this definition includes three important components. We will be talking about them too. Stay with us. First component is bullying is aggressive behavior that involves unwanted negative actions. Okay, now it's time to talk about second component. Second component says that Bullying involves a pattern of behavior repeated over time. So if someone do something mean, something uh, handy, physical or verbal, wants to you and you think, okay, that was bullying, it is not me. Why? Because it is not repeated and over time. It's time to talk about third component. This one is last but it's not least. Third component says, Bullying involves an imbalance of power or strength. As I told you, it's time to talk about how to prevent our kids to become a bully or be bullied in their community. Actually, there is no one reason why a child may become a bully or be bullied in their community. There are several environmental factors that can lead to the development of bullying behavior. In my next video, I'll be talking about these environmental factors and also give you some facts about bullying and what makes it so important in our society. If you have found this information beneficial so far, please smash like, subscribe my channel because this is a good way to support me and my channel and share this video with your friends because this is a good way to pass our knowledge to each other. How we can prevent our kids to be bullied or become a bully. Until recently, lots of children and people have endured these aggressive behaviors or bad behaviors because they have been different in some ways. But now it's time to change this environment. How we can make a bully-free environment with inviting kids, staff, children and families and let them know what bullying is, informing them and giving them knowledge. The first step to be taken is developing a climate of respect and code of conduct. This statement acknowledges inclusion and caring for each other. It says that hurting of any kind will not be tolerated. They need to be treated as same as others. They need to be fair in every aspect of their life. And also tells them they need to care about others and others' feet. We need to make sure no one is left alone with bullying behavior. So if you see something, do something. It doesn't matter if you are a children, kid or parent, teacher or anyone. You need to do something if you see something. It's time for third step. Actively teach social and emotional skills. Empathy, assertiveness, recognition of feelings in self and others, and conflict resolution skills are essential. Fourth step is that we need to make time for open discussion to talk about bullying behaviors. We need to ask kids what it feels to be bullied, what it feels to bully someone. We need to let them know we are trying to involve them to make a safer environment for everyone. So they need to take action if they see something or if they are in that situation. Actually, I'm working on another video that tells you as a parent or kid what actions need to be taken when they are in that environment or behave, see that bullying behavior. Please comment down below what you want to be covered in that video and as soon as I get 100 comments, I make that video. Fifth step is that we need to create clear policies about the consequences for bullying. Policies need to include immediate short-term intervention 
to stop bullying from continuing as well as long term learning last step is that i want you to make connection with people colleagues and talk about what bullying is and what they will do if they see they are in that situation or if they see one of their kids or other kids are in that situation thank you for watching this video and uh, please smash like if you did subscribe my channel to see my other videos and because these are the ways you can support my channel and me and also please share this video with other people your colleague your family even kids that can take advantage of this video thank you and see you in next video